All right, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about hook blocks um, and hook the, the boom ends where you can actually attach them. Okay, um, the only one I do not have shown is the T7. Um, and that's just because it has the same number of sheaves as this uh, NM head. Um, here I've put the T3 head on the end of the T3 boom. Uh, you can see the T3 adapter and the T3 head. Underneath it, I've got a 13 sheave boom uh, hook block, um, currently set up. Sort of barely see it um, with 26 lines. Um, then I have a uh, seven sheave hook block with 14 lines, three sheave with six, uh, one sheave with two, and then a single pill. Um, each of these you can select how many sheaves they have so if you go into the store go to the LTM section um, I'll go up to the 26 or the 13 sheave so you can hear, see here it starts off with four and goes up in increments of two um, when you are selecting a uh, a hook you can see that it shows you how many lines gives you how much metric tons it's it's good for as well as how many meters or how many feet um, it can go down from the main boom or for the part where it actually or the, the in the boom where it actually attaches um, so the more you go the so the higher up you go the less number of uh, the more lines you have the less it'll be able to extend down from the boom because you're using a winch line or wire rope um, but also keep in mind it goes slower, right? Because basically it takes the speed of the winch and divides it by how many lines you have going up and down to the hook, or up and down to the boom from the hook. All right, so 24 lines, it takes the speed of the boom, or the winch, divides it by 24. So it increases the amount you can carry, decreases how low how much it can be lowered and decreases the speed so if you're looking for something fast you're not going to be getting something with very many lines and very much capacity All right so then we get up to 26 I'll just have to, I'll, don't worry I'll correct those um, so you can see the four line goes 197 meters but you go into the six jumps drops it down to 140 All right so that's how they work. Um, they all have color as well. Okay. Um, so that's how each of the hook blocks hook blocks work. Um, also, at the point where you can attach, you will find an IC node, um, and it'll t typically for most of them you'll have two. Um, this one only has one because this is the only place where you can actually attach um, for the T3. You can only use winch one because winch one's always the you want to use the winch one on the strongest point and the T3 head is the strongest lifting point on this uh, crane. So you can click it and when you click it you'll notice that the winch line appears just like you're reaving it um, and then you'll be able to attach the hook. Right? Um, keep in mind if you have a 26 line hook this is the only place you can attach it because you have 13 sheaves on the head. You have 13 sheaves on the hook, you have 13 sheaves on the head, so you can do 16 lines. When we get to the T7 and the NM head, it only has 7. So the maximum you can put on this head is the 14. Keep in mind, you can put any of these hooks on there. As far as, so like, so the the NM and the T7, you can take the, you can do the seven sheave, three sheave, one sheave, or a single pill, right? On the T3 head, you can put any of these hooks on. <clears throat> um, and you can put, select any number of the, sh the lines and it'll go on the T3 head. With this, you can only go up to 14, uh, 14 lines. So you can put this hook on there if you don't go past 14 lines. Um, it won't look quite really good because you can see here the way you're supposed to do it is you're supposed to uh, spread the weight of the, the or spread the line across the, the pulleys or the sheaves um, with this being so big it works best with this head um, but once you get down to 14 you'll notice that the, the, the um, wire 
bunches up because it's made really for the 14 sheave. So once you get down to 14, typically switch to this this block. Um, this is the and I had also the end of the uh, erection jib, and it only has two pulleys. So with this, the way I've got it set up, maximum you can do is four lines on the head here. In real life, I believe you could do five, um, but with this, you can only do four. Uh, just because I I've started running out of attacher joints. So. Alright, so here, you now you were in here, you can see it attached, and now the hook is attached, and you can see it, these little rods sticking out. That is for you to slide home and make sure that you cannot detach it. Alright, um, to make the hook go vertical, you just hit fold on the hook, and then you can go back to the main crane and you can get moving. Um, so I'll show you. So here, there's here's 26 lines. Um, that's me moving it down as fast as it will go. As you can see, it's very, very slow. <clears throat> Let me lower it back down, and I'll put uh, put four four lines on there. So we're gonna untach it, detach it, come down. Adjust it for four lines. There's four lines. Attach it. Swing it. And yes, it does off center because it's trying to spread the weight of the hook across multiple um, lines here. Uh, looks like I got something else correct. And so it is going to be twisted like that. So, all right. So now we raise the boom. And you can see that the hook is moving much, much faster. It looks like I have some other adjustments to do on that one. So. Yep, awesome. So that's it for this video. Enjoy and wait until the next one.